How many times have you ever looked at the sky and wondered about its beauty? How many times were you in awe of it? It's the symbol of freedom, the symbol of limitless boundary, the symbol of hope. During the day, it is adorned with clouds of different shapes and sizes, protecting us against the harsh beam of the sun, where it also brings with it life as it brings down rain. As the day gets darker, the sky puts on a different face. It is now decorated with thousands and millions of stars as if they were small pieces of diamonds scattered against a black canvas. Its infinite boundary can also make us question, what are there that we have yet to know and see? Will we ever step foot on another planet? Are we alone in this universe? Have we ever got any visitors from another planet? On July 25th, an asteroid called Asteroid 2019 OK orbited near Earth. The asteroid went by quickly and unnoticeably, only after it went by that people had learned about its passing. It has a staggering size estimated to be between 57 to 130 meters wide. The distance between the asteroid and the Earth was uncomfortably close, about less than one-fifth of the distance to the Moon. Traveling at a speed of 24 kilometers per second, equivalent to 54,000 miles per hour. Undetected, yet has the power enough to destroy an entire city. We read, listen, recount stories that fascinate us. It's the stories that we can relate to the most are the ones that become a part of who we are. It excites us knowing that living in the ordinary can also be extraordinary. From the tales and legends that are forgotten and the stories that keep us up at night, I bring you Stories from the Dark and I'm your host, The Enigma. To quote from Ellen Duffy, an astronomer from NASA, Nothing this size is easy to detect. You're really relying on reflected sunlight, and even at closest approach, it was barely visible with a pair of binoculars. Michael Brown, a Melbourne-based observational astronomer said, The asteroid's eccentric orbit and speed were the factors that made spotting it ahead of time challenging. The amount of time it spends near Earth, where it is detectable, isn't long. As it approached Earth, the asteroid was traveling about 24 kilometers per second, nearly 54,000 miles per hour. By contrast, other recent asteroids that flew by Earth traveled between the speed of 4 to 19 kilometers per second, about 8,000 to 42,000 miles per hour. With a week or two to go, it's getting bright enough to detect, but someone needs to look in the right spot. Once it's finally recognized, then things happen quickly. But this thing was approaching quickly, so we only sort of knew about it very soon, before the flyby," said Michael Brown. Although the asteroid didn't hit Earth, the last-minute detection is a frightening reminder of how unprepared we are when it comes to the real threat asteroids can pose. We know that one of the deadliest meteors that ever hit Earth was the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. Over the century, we have depicted in movies and films how the meteor would look like as it entered the Earth atmosphere. But have we ever witnessed a meteor entering the Earth atmosphere outside of our screen? On the morning of 15th February 2013, a significantly small meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere Due to the meteor's shallow angle and its high velocity, it exploded about 30 kilometers above Shelyabinsk Oblast. The meteor was a superbolide, meaning it shined brightly as it enters the Earth's atmosphere before it exploded in the sky. According to eyewitnesses, as it was shining, they could feel the intense heat from it and it was shining as bright as the sun. The meteor caused a total of 1,200 people injured and about 48 people were hospitalized. All of the injuries were due to indirect effects rather than the meteor itself, mainly from broken glass from windows that were blown in when the shockwave arrived. An estimated total 
of $30 million worth of damage. What's intriguing about this meteor was how the shockwave from the explosion of the meteor alone could cause such a damage to the city. The shockwave was thought to be equivalent to the blast of 400 to 500 kilotons of TNT, which is 26 to 33 times as much energy as that released from the atomic bomb detonated at Hiroshima. Imagine the monumental damage that would have been caused by asteroid 2019 OK if it were to enter the Earth's atmosphere. Although the Shelyabinsk meteor only has about 20 meter or 66 feet in diameter, it is estimated to have a mass of about 12,000 to 13,000 tons, heavier than the Eiffel Tower. All of the energy and the damage that was created came from a small meteor. The explosion also generated a hot cloud of dust and gas as well as small fragmentary meteorites that landed outside the city. Witnesses in Shelyabinsk said that the air of the city smelled like gunpowder starting about an hour after the fireball and lasting all day. The Shelyabinsk meteor is considered to be the largest known natural object to enter the Earth's atmosphere since the 1908 Tunguska event. Let's say we were able to detect about an incoming asteroid that was about to hit the Earth. What will we do to avoid such a catastrophe? Believe it or not, scientists are working on developing at least two approaches, both with the purpose of deflecting such asteroids from entering the Earth. One strategy involves gently pushing the asteroid off of its course and away from Earth. The other approach is a more elegant solution which is by using the gravity tractor. It could be possible to divert it using the gravity of a spacecraft, according to NASA. Even though the chance of an asteroid hitting a city is quite modest, said Ellen Duffy, it is a worthwhile investment to devote resources toward detection and prevention. Sooner or later, there will be one with our name on it. It's just a matter of when, not if. It's the kind of thing where you learn about something that you didn't know about, like things flying close by us and your inclination is to be scared. But just like sharks in the ocean, they're really not going to hurt you and they're really fascinating to look at. The Enigma is finally back. I hope you're looking forward to new episodes on this channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon so you won't miss future episodes. Thank you for tuning in.